Welcome to Obsession Engineering and you might notice the workshop's looking a little bit tidy today because we're not at my workshop, we're at Honda Racing in Louth with Franco because we're going to be building a super stock fire blade for him and so Honda have let us come down here, have a bit of a poke around at this and then basically build a shopping list of bits we're going to buy. So this is a brand new Fireblade Superstock bike that the boys here at Honda Racing have built for a customer and they've let us come and basically have a little bit of a poke around at this one, uh, see some of the tips and tricks and bits that they put onto these bikes and then we can decide exactly what we're going to build with ours. So it looks like a brand new anniversary edition Fireblade but it is all quite special. May as well start at the front. Uh, these bikes are on carbonin bodywork. Uh, the forks look standard, but they have the proper race spec um, FKR cartridge kits in them. This is actually an anniversary bike originally, so it is uh, got a, a serial numbered top yoke. They're on different air scoops in there. Uh, the IMU is sat there, and I'm assuming on the road bike there's a cover or something there. Um, and then the further along the bike we go, under here there is a kit ECU, kit wiring loom, uh, kit IMU, um, kit throttle which is ever so slightly faster action than a standard one but still electronic, um, kit kill switch. Standard switch gear on this side because it still works with all the modes and the dashboard is still standard. Standard shifter blipper but all this rear set stuff is actually made in-house here at Honda Louth and is really quite nice. So it looks really really simple, there is a backing plate with loads of adjustment on it, the footrest itself is, trust me, very very grippy, I don't know if I'll do that too much right now, any skin left on my hand, the gear lever, really really simple but this is all machine from billet so it is very very nice and I suspect relatively expensive so we may not be having those bits. Um, little chain guard down here, nice lightweight little um, 520 chain, different sprockets, standard wheels, because it's super stock. Right, the shock in the back looks like the standard shock, and it basically is a standard shock, but with altered valving and with the electronic adjusters taken out and standard adjusters put in it. So that is a TTX shock, but race spec Right, the Honda Racing built bikes are on Aquapovic systems. We're probably going to be on Arrow systems. Uh, on this side, this, this is a little mod that um, Tom Neve liked and it basically gives him, when he's leant off the side of the bike, an extra bit of sort of brake lever to put a bit of pressure on so he can use the back brake when he's leaning off the far side of the bike. So that's a little mod they've done in-house. Uh, GB Racing covers, standard radiators, Evotech rad guards and bits, uh, Evotech lever guard and it looks like a fairly standard bike which is actually what I quite like about the way Honda here build the bikes is they look fairly standard they're on sort of fairly standard colour schemes but they're actually really really cool and incredibly well put together. What do you think to the bike compared to your 636 Kawasaki? Um, to be fair feels actually quite similar size to be honest possibly maybe smaller I know the Kawasaki's you sort of sit in them a bit more a lot more chunky but um no, good first impact. Feel a bit high on it. I think we have to make some adjustments for us, really. But good first impression. Uh, we have been told by the guys here they've given us numbers for somebody who does a basically a, a tank cover that comes back up there a little bit, and I'm going to move my hand any further. <laughs> <laughs> we, we get on well, but not that well. <laughs> um, I think you can get like a lower seat as well, um, something up the back maybe as well. But yeah, so. We'll, we'll be tailoring the, yeah, maybe run the seat a bit lower, some padding at the back of the seat so there's a bit more support, especially mid corner. Um, Franco's going to try and lose somebody else's uh, fuel cap. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, huh? so the, the, the first impressions are pretty good. Mm. Nice, nice bike. You're just about fit. Feel, feel high in it, feel sort of similar to the Mortal 3, really. The, the seat in the handlebar is a bit more in line where the the Kawasaki is sort of sat like this really, a bit more of a sofa bike, so yeah, definitely a bit more of a race bike than what I'm used to. Yeah. Right, and over the next couple of months there will be instalments as we build 
our Fireblade Superstock bike for this young man to hopefully go fast on and hopefully not repeatedly break. Not been it. <laughs> <laughs> but there is going to be a big learning curve for all of us, so you're prepared for your uh, new challenge? Definitely. No, it's going to be fun. Get some good practice on it, get used to it. Just right to start the season. So that is the basic plan. We're going to build Franco a Superstock Honda. He's going to go hopefully really, really fast on it. We're going to have a wonderful time and we're going to learn a lot. So keep tuned as we get the bikes and show you how to build a Superstock bike. While we're here, it would be rude not to show off a little bit of Superbike bling. This might look like a stocker, but this is actually Glen Irwin's uh, TT Superbike from 2022. So compared to the stocker, the top yoke looks the same, but I'm assuming it's probably different with different offsets and quite possibly under their adjustables. Uh, same dashboard, because I think this one's probably on kit. Is this on kit or is it on Motec? Yeah, this one's on kit, not Motec. Uh, and then he's got uh, proper Superbike spec uh, Olins with the skeletonized bottoms. Those Nissin calipers that just look trick as hell with all the bits machined out of them. And, they might not say Brembo on them, but I bet they're just as good. Uh, OZ wheels, Nissin, calip uh, Nissin discs to go with the calipers. Obviously, different engine spec. So, rear sets, exhaust systems, all that sort of stuff. But then you get more carbon fibre, different wheels, risers for the paddock stands, uh, completely different back brake setup with a floating rear disc, because everybody needs rattly rear discs. Right. This year in Superstock, in 2022, you were allowed the Superbike spec rear shocks in Superstock, but from next year you're not. So you we won't be allowed this spec of shock next year in Superstock, which is good because they're 5,000-ish quid, possibly, at that area, uh, whereas a TTX is considerably cheaper. But this being the TT bike, it's got big fuel cell underneath there, so that's shifting weight back and, of course, has more capacity. And they're still on standard quick shifter. So that's it, just a quick view around the superbike. Uh, Glenn likes a big thumb brake. And yeah, it still looks quite a lot like a stocker, but nice, simple upgrades, lots of money upgrades, but really cool thing. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel if you want to see us building Franco's Fireblade.